Hello and welcome to Lantern 98 channel. Today we are revisiting the Bugatti Chiron. As not only did I have a boo boo, because the shifting for the Chiron is actually. Well, hold on. Shifting for it that I originally had was 200 milliseconds, which is 0.2 seconds. However, I happen to do a look up on how fast paddle shifting is. And paddle shifting is a lot quicker than what Little Big Planet can do. Now, this is the equivalent of 100 milliseconds. Now, Vol well, it's basically Volkswagens because that's who owns Bugatti. Their DSG uh, paddle shifters can do in 8 milliseconds. And the best I can do in this game is 100, which is quite a bit different. So, basically, all I can really do is this. What am I even looking for? This. So I just put a battery in here. And what we'll do, well, we need a knock gate. So that's too slow. So, so now it's a little bit quicker. Well, it's a lot quicker. It's non-existent now. You know, basically just the pressing of it. It's, well, or the act of it shifting is all that really limits this car speed while shifting, which is probably about as real, well, about realistic as we're gonna get. However, even though this car is deemed the fastest accelerating car in the world, that's just from zero. Well, it's fastest accelerating and then back to zero again. That's starting from zero. So that basically tosses out any traction issues that something like the Koenigsegg 1 to 1 would have had when it went for its run. And also the Agera R. Is that the Agera RS? Either way, I think that completely destroyed the Chiron by a second or two, which could have easily been from braking and acceleration combined. However, what if we take traction out of the function and run these two heads up? Not heads up, but in a rolling start. Now, uh, <coughs> I already know what the turnout was even before I changed the shifting, so I had to modify this slightly. So let's make it fair again. We'll see if the non-existent shifting helps it at all. So here we go. 35 miles an hour, automatic. The very super short shifting, the Chiron can't keep up with the one to one. Now, obviously, I know that could be from creator error, but still. Alrighty. How much of a jump start do we need to get the Chiron in order to actually win? 3.2 seconds. Even with a 0.2 second jump start, we might need to give it at least 0.5. So I will say the Chiron has a little bit of a higher top speed by the time we hit the wall. Well, that doesn't mean it accelerated quicker, so let's drop it to that. I can definitely say that the Shiron is definitely not as fast as the one to one. Close this mic. Still. 
can't do anything against it. I was hoping to run this thing against multiple cars, but it does not want to beat the one-to-one. -one. Give it a whole second head start. Yeah, we're going to get caught up to. But I can say we can at least do top speed. Finally, we at least beat it something, but my god. We need a whole entire second. I mean, heck, what? The Koenigsegg has 1,200 horsepower. This is 1,500 horsepower. I guarantee you that she runs a lot more than 1,500 kilograms. So, it makes every right that the one-to-one -one can accelerate much quicker than the Bugatti Chiron. However, the Koenigsegg doesn't have the grip to lay down 1,200 horsepower and just rear-wheel drive. However, the Chiron can lay down the 1,500 horsepower with the all-wheel drive and help of, la of launch control. Thus, <coughs> giving the Chiron much more advantage from start. So how about we do it from start? We'll go up to 250 miles an hour from stop here, which is probably we're gonna it's gonna be at the end of the wall. So let's find out. Ooh, the Chiron was catching up in the end, though. But, not enough to handle it. So, what can we conclude? Well, this might just be all user error. That Koenigsegg might be a lot faster than what it's supposed to. But in theory, it should accelerate quicker than the Chiron. Alrighty. And also, a lot of its record was, was because of the brakes from our all brand new, groundbreaking, 3D printed, brake cal 8 piston brake caliper which greatly increases the power of the brakes alrighty I'll see you in the next one bye